We're so excited for this gathering today. It feels monumental. It feels so much like a, a timeline milestone for our angelic soul family here on earth. I am joined here with my beautiful brother and sister Lukaja and Saskia. And I'm so excited to, I, I had a brief conversation with them. Actually, you guys sent me that voice memo yesterday, but I listened to it this morning about the different prophecies and all the energies that are uh, up with this eclipse portal. And so, yeah, I know that a lot of people are still funneling into the room. So <laughs> there's just a lot of moving energy. Um, but yeah, you guys, I just want to say before we dive in that this potent frequency, I, I really feel like it doesn't really have anything to do with the dinky technologies that some beings are using at all. This portal is so much about you and the 144,000 fully coming online. I feel like this dragon year of 2024 is like this massive giant emerald green light that we're all getting. Uh, some of us have been waiting, you know, we're like, when is, when can I open my wings? When can I just be who I'm meant to be here on this earth? What am I here to live out, you know, this great prophecy of the 144,000 and of heaven on earth? And that time is now, that time is here finally. So it feels like a birthday party. It feels like Christmas. It feels like a celebration. And that's really the energy that we really want to focus on because we don't even have to think or look at what anyone else is trying to do. There's only one timeline, and that is God's timeline. And I'm just so excited to have you two here with me today. Why don't you introduce yourselves? It's wonderful to be here. So my, name is, my name is Lutasia. I'm Saskia Diamond. And we, we feel like we've planned this all a long, long time ago. We knew that we would come, be here on this planet, go through all the experiences of density and duality, and we would reach this pinnacle a deep first completion phase of so much that we had to learn to understand humanity, understand the evolutionary arc. And we have arrived. This is a, a time that we can really celebrate the first wave of initiation and a completion to a new level of being and what that means for everyone in terms of your leadership, your embodiment, your heaven on earth movement. We're so excited to be here, celebrate with you all. Yeah, we're also founders of Divine and Alchemy, and we're just so passionate in supporting Divine Union couples to unite back together and to just, you know, be the miracle portal, a pillar for heaven and earth to ground down and to anchor their legacy together to build the heaven on earth timeline and kingdom fully back together in co-creation with God. So we're just so incredibly honored and excited to be here with you all in this just monumental moment of this solar eclipse that is really this absolutely huge birthing portal opening for us to together as one family as the 144,000 burst together this heaven on earth vision, this dream that we have been, you know, that's been seeded in us, deep in our hearts and our souls. We're seeding this through our deep desire and our trust and our remembrance to be fully activated. And yeah, it's just such an incredible moment that we've been waiting for for lifetimes. And I'm just so incredibly excited and honored to, to be here in this now moment with you all. Yeah, I'm so happy that we already brought in this frequency of divine union. Um, it's such an important part of all of this because what we're really witnessing, like what is behind all of this is the return of the true essence of Christ and the Christ frequency, Christ love, Christ intelligence. And what that really is, is just the union of mother, father, God, and eternal creation is this fabric, is this architecture and, you know, with any of these inverted magic rituals that like throughout time, right, the control system and the fall on earth is basically propagated through 
what we'll call anti-hierogamic or anti-union magic. And what that is, is like the splitting, I mean, really in all directions, like splitting our own soul from our own body, splitting humans from the earth, splitting, you know, these sexual misery programs of, you know, false love and degradation of our bodies and splitting of humanity from God. And all of these levels of splits create these rips and tears that keep divine right order. It keeps God from having complete reign over the kingdom, right? And this is even uh, exemplified in the rockets that they're sending, how they're sending these rockets named after this Egyptian demon of disorder and chaos. What you guys really have to understand is that disorder and chaos is essentially the byproduct of anti-hierosgamic, um, anti-hierosgamos separation and things like that. And I was feeling kind of a lot of that in the field. Like people are saying they were feeling heavy, but now they're in the field and they're feeling light. And truly, this is such an incredible opportunity for us to witness the importance of our inner union. That's really what it's all about. When we're on this path of being, you know, one of the 144,000, one of the angels, the only thing that we have to worry about is our own inner union with God. Um, this is also the path of the twin, right? And my divine union partner, who is, you know, he he's not here right now because he's undercover at the moment and he can't be on the internet um, with me because he's going into the trenches. But just living out this fairy tale, right? Living out this prophecy with a partner, a lot of people think that the twins, the divine union is like this romantic thing, but it's so much more profound than that, right? When we talk about an angelic star seed, we're here to be avatars. And so really the true path of the divine union has so much more than just about fulfilling your personal desires of having a partner or having a romantic, you know, being, being treated in a certain way. It has everything to do about being able to hold the highest amounts and qualities of divine love in your body. And this can be done in just exponentially in a shared group field and a shared light body. And that's really the technology of the true divine union template. And this is really important for our call today because this state of inner union is what we are amplifying in the group field because inner union is what allows for the original love of God to flower inside of our body and when we are doing that together as a group and we're landing that on the earth, it really just pacifies any and all inversions without even really needing to focus on those things. The, the splits that have happened between our masculine and feminine and our and the divine unions on this planet that goes way, way back the the core fundamental truth that we've realized is that we've never ever wanted to hurt each other we've never wanted to ever go against the divine will or hurt anyone else there was a, a lot of traps set up a lot of different as as he was mentioning anti-hierogamic black magic and also very cunning little inserts that were plugged into consciousness and there was a lot of attacks damage torture all of that but if we go beyond all of it the original primordial divine union blueprint exists within us and if we can remember that innocence and remember the innocence in each other and emanate the forgiveness of that original blueprint to reclaim that which has never actually been tainted or lost in this ephemeral time space continuum we can anchor in that eternal blueprint and restore restore timelines of, of separation and that's when unions come together that's uh, an initiation process to heal all that happened between them and then in that understand how to restore and broadcast that original union out to others so it's a it's a it's been a great initiation and an honor to be on this journey. It's been very difficult at times, but as he was mentioning, now we're in a space where we don't have to go so deep into the darkness and the trenches and 
and and battle and focus so much on that now we can really rest into the true blueprint that takes care of the work through our emanation through our beings and so we're so happy for that yes. it's like we've reached this like critical mass of all the inner work that we've been doing of you know from the place of you know all the different traumas that happen in different timelines be it Murray, atlantis lyra and all many others we've started to remember how to open our hearts to god in that pain in that trauma, in those fears. And we started to build bridges for God to come in and to create such deep healing that we've now reached this critical mass where, you know, we really can be a divine union pillar, no matter if we're already physically coupled with our beloved or we're just doing it as, as our soul, as our heart is just opening up fully. We're able to basically hold the sacred geometrical architecture of the Trinity, the two Trinity um, unified as one, creating this holy Merkaba star architecture of this Hieros Gamos or this like divine union template. Also holding this tri-wave color tones or the Aurora color tones that really represents Holy Mother, Holy Father and Holy Child eternally unified. And I also just find it incredible, you know, just the significance of divine union in combination with this specific eclipse. You know, this eclipse has been prophesized by almost all ancient tribes and cultures and scriptures. This specific eclipse here in April 2024, you know, some um, tribes, I think the Hopi tribe, mention it as the prophecy where the eagle and the condor would finally fly together again. The eagle is representing the divine masculine, basically um, yeah, the divine masculine and the condor, the divine feminine. So it's really such a monumental event where we have this opportunity. Of course, it doesn't happen by itself. It's like it, it's on us, you know, to really choose this, to really open our heart, to choose forgiveness, to choose to see our innocence and purity and allow this incredible this, this incredible opportunity to open us up, open our hearts, our wounds, our minds up so wide so we can just receive this incredible reset, this incredible rebirth that can end all karmic cycles that we've gone through since lifetimes. And so it's really the most incredible moment for us to remember ourselves, who we truly are, like pre-fall, the pre-fall, the original soul essence, the original divine union template and the original union between the true beloveds, the eternal beloveds, and the original tribes, the angelic tribes, the 12 original angelic lineages and just 144,000 or some Native American tribes just call it like the rainbow tribe is really just uniting and overcoming the separation. It's so beautiful. Um, I just want to clarify for everyone that there's a big range of timing because obviously there's a pathway that the eclipse is happening. And so we are actually scheduling to do our activation meditation during the time when it's passing over Virginia because that's the time the rockets are being shot into the sky. And so currently we're setting the field. This is why the divine union, like people are confused. And I think the confusion really comes from not fully understanding how this is divine union magic and anti-divine union magic that's at play. This is why the union frequency is coming through because what is a true union is when our soul is fully in our state of eternal peace and union with God right? So when we are in that place, that is when actual true love, eternal intelligence of God can flow through our body. This is why we set the field. Okay, we have to set the field and we communicate. And I know that we have a lot of people on here that may have never been part of any of our collective group works before. Um, and so I see some people are a little bit impatient or wanting to get to the next part. 
Um, we've actually already been praying for two hours inside of the academy with over 300 of you. And you guys, you know, you felt how important it is for us to come into a state of union inside of ourself. We understand, again, that this whole creation is the twin creation. This universal reality is birthed from the eternal union of our mother, father, God. And so what occurs when that union is materialized is that these two polar forces begin to go through this eternal dance. And that's in inside of material creation is when those two forces can be split. And so when we go through life and we feel like God is separate from us, when we go through life and we are not, you know, experiencing deep cellular and cosmic peace flowing through our body, this is really the transmission that we're facilitating in our space is that actually when you're in a state of peace, there's no need to create some sort of extravagant ritual or ceremony because you're always facilitating the grid work. The grid work comes when you open your field and your heart to become an ever-increasing anchor, conduit, facilitator of God's love. And so the peak of the eclipse, there's actually a two-hour range. You know, we weren't going to just be on this call for six hours. That's why I chose the place that they chose because that is the peak of the anti-union frequencies that will be emitted onto the planet. Okay, but really your prayer is your ability to live inside of this peace. This is why Yeshua, he's called the Prince of Peace. It doesn't, it's not that he's, you know, still and he can quiet his mind, is that he lives in a state of eternal union with God. He lives in a state of deep union. And when we're in that place of union, there's very little that we need to speak or incur upon the world because we're literally just this massive portal of God's love. And so what we are trying to do together here, almost 900 people on this call, it's actually absolutely incredible. So grateful that you're all here. It is an incredible gathering of angels, right? Each and every single one of you. This is so little about the eclipse, and so much more about what this means for the rest of your life. What this eclipse represents is us as a family receiving, and really is this year of 2024, right? It's not so much this eclipse, it's like series and series of events that happen through the grids, and this eclipse happened to be like almost the first major event. It's happening right before the solar new year, right? Um, and this is so much about you remembering like, oh my gosh, I'm a star seed. So star seeds come from God. We come from the heart of God, right? We are here to literally be a messenger of God's love. Like how profound is that? And how much reverence and honor are we placing that in the forefront of our heart and our life that, you know, when we will open our eyes in the morning and we jump out of bed, like, we're like, oh my gosh, I'm here to serve creation. My soul is here because I love God and I love creation so much. And it means so much to me. It is so sacred, right? So this is so much about tuning our consciousness and our heart into the profoundness of this moment that we're experiencing together. The birth of angels, the birth of dragons, the birth of every single person that is on this call right now and so many more of the miracles and the incredible things that you will witness God manifest through you that's going to lead to kingdom of heaven to be made fully manifest, right? The prophecy of heaven on earth. Like, what are we all talking about here? The most profound and sacred events that have been prophesied for so long and what we are wanting to do right here right now is for us to come into that state of reverence and honor and remembrance and peace inside of our body as a family 
right? We don't need to be meditating or doing a ritual to be in a space of reverence so that, you know, sometimes we realize that we leave a ceremony and we go back to being whoever human self we are. And, you know, your whole life you can hold inside of a sacred container. There's never a moment when you are not in ceremony. So these frequencies of divine union is this remembrance of our mother, father, God, and this intelligence that is that arises, that is birthed through their love story, their eternal love story. And that love, when we remember that love, it's a feeling. There's only so many things you can say about it, right? The love of mother, father, God, but is really a cellular, genetic soul remembrance. That love is what brought your soul to this earth. That love is what you are meant to be a conduit and a messenger of during these immense times of prophecy. And so this eclipse is about you activating and remembering your own soul's promise that you made to be part of this prophecy that is literally the song that's ringing through the universal body. So it's so little about all these things that are happening, even this eclipse, and so much about what is birthing through this fertile moment in time. This powerful energy is awakening in you your highest prophecy as a messenger and a conduit of God's love. And that happens when you just feel into your heart and allow your heart to remember the song that is the love of mother, father, God, right? That is this eternal love story that is just the antidote to all fear. It heals all disease. It heals all pain. It brings peace to all disorder. This is the force that we're building in our heart, in our group field, not just for this moment, but for the rest of our life, you guys. <laughs> it, is, it is so profound and so beautiful. And you can feel how powerful it is when we're all together to remember that love of Mother, Father, God. And to allow that love to reorient and recalibrate our inner compass that is in our heart and our soul. And so Saskia, I remember we were talking about like these prophecies. Like, can you elaborate more on, you know, those powerful uh, messages, uh, messages of Yes. Um, so as I mentioned, that there's just, you know, in both like scriptures, but also in, in just, just native tribes all over the earth, there has been prophecies of this specific eclipse <clears throat> being the moment of turnaround on the planet, of liberation from enslavement. There's some that really mention like this is, the moment of turnaround where basically the false kings are going to, their power is going to crumble and humanity will rise. And in another one of those prophecies, you know, there was even mentioned like a 40 day period where, you know, there would be just, you know, just like an integration phase of us, you know, having anchored through this portal, like this heaven on earth or just this original divine union architecture and I, what I feel is that you know this 40 days could be just like a phase for us to keep holding it to keep anchoring it in and it might you know take a certain phase of purification and you know just like releasing all the cellular and genetic imprints from those phantom timelines so it's almost like a phase of just a a gentle purging phase and just like holding anchoring this heaven on earth frequency deeper but within these 40 days there will be, there will be when i feel just like a massive unprecedented transformation of us becoming you know more of who we truly are of 
I also believe like an unprecedented amount of divine union, divine unions that will come together to the sacred remembering, to the sacred rebirth. So this is yeah, really just, I mean, nobody truly knows how it is going to play out, but we, we can all feel that this is like a monumental, you know, absolutely significant moment of, of our lives, of lifetimes. Yeah, you guys, um, this eclipse is really just, I feel like the ser like a first monumental moment. Like it's so easy to be like, oh, the eclipse, like that's like such a big alignment, but there are actually alignments that, you know, people don't like rarely know about. Like for me, I'm gearing up for this gateway around April 20th, which is when the earth actually comes into alignment first to Andromeda and then to the galactic center. And this is, you know, one of the most powerful portals of the year because when the sun and the earth and a cosmic body comes into alignment, Oh, am I back? Sorry, it's, it's a little bit too hype for the to, for the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I think I'm back. Oh, what I was saying was that when the Earth, the Sun, and these cosmic bodies come into alignment, we get to receive these intelligences. And so, for the 144,000, and I saw somebody say that the 144,000 is a bloodline, not a chosen people. Um, I think that's false, but, you know, I think we get to believe our own thing. Um, for me, the 144,000 are beings that have the capacity to have all of these um, nadies and energy meridians in our light body activated. So what that really means is that our DNA and our light body becomes active to the point where we're able to facilitate the accretion of high amounts of cosmic energy and intelligence god's love and god's wisdom and god's power so these are the people that will become you know embodied in their cidic powers their abilities to heal miraculously and perform miracles right so it's talking about a genetic and light body configuration and this is of course deep esoteric knowledge of ascension that's really what Yeshua was embodying and holding and facilitating, helping humanity remember that this is our original blueprint. And so that's why they say, you know, the chosen ones are the ones who choose, because I really believe that there are actually millions of star seas on earth right now, but not every single one is going to activate into their highest potential. And that is entirely dependent on each and every single one of us. It depends on how just absolutely possessed by your love for creation that you get over the next period of time. Like this is the most potent year of our life when it comes to activating and aligning to our soul's mission. That looks like literally, you know, reorganizing your whole life so that there's most important thing. You know, we're not just going out to seeing our friends and going drinking and doing all these things. We're focused because life matters to us and we really care about what our soul came to earth for, right? And so for the 144,000, the people that are able to embody and come into our avatar state, that's essentially what it is, which every single human being is capable of, but our souls came here specifically to be way showers, specifically to go first, to role model how we, you know, who we're really meant to be. We're not meant to be a slave race. We're meant to be angelics. And through our life, we pierce through the, you know, glass ceilings. And so this year is like I say, is the emerald green light, right? And this eclipse, we are really being birthed into that. But then what happens through this whole entire year is, you know, our it's really the same as the dragons coming out of stasis in that way that you are, you have been a dragon in stasis. A dragon is a person that embodies certain qualities, right? Honor, courage, 
diligence, these frequencies of mastery that your soul remembers, but maybe your human self hasn't learned how to fully embody or make, you know, fully true in your human life. And so this eclipse is also about a process of solarization, right? The moon can represent the subconscious. The moon can represent our collective shadow and things that um, are maybe programmed or forgotten or when parts of us are severed basically from the light of God. And the solarization process is the same as the ascension process where all of the parts of our human self are remembering who we really are and how powerful we are when we are in union with God, when we remember our soul's eternal covenant and relationship with God and allow that union to literally drive and guide our life in a magnificent way. And this is really a time, right? It's like when we hold our ceremony, I want you to realize that this is not about collapsing a fallen timeline. More so, it's about us bringing down our soul's highest timeline, right? Because you are literally a conduit for heaven to be manifest on earth. And so what does the world look like? What will your life look like if you wake up in the morning and you're your most grounded, powerful, and masterful, and embodied, and loving self? You wake up in the morning, you're like, I love God and I care about humanity so much. How can I organize my whole entire life around that and just be absolutely possessed by my purpose? Right? That is prayer because you are the antidote. Just by you being your highest self and shining your light and being a conduit for love, like everything that is artificial will crumble. We don't even need to intentionally, like we're not in a war, right? We're not in a war. They're in a war. We're not fighting. We're just here to fulfill what is already the highest truth. And that highest truth needs to come through your own body. It's like, what is your own highest truth? Your highest truth is that you're an angelic star seed here on earth to share this remembrance of love. And you have to know that love and feel that love so much in your body for that love to literally just be the vibration that when anyone, when anything is in your field, only order and divine orchestration takes place and this is what we're going to be working on and this is what I feel we are you know I I feel like Lucas and Saskia and Shane and I this is where um, we just feel so on fire with our coming together so we were actually we share the same anniversary and our daughters were born literally four days apart from each other in the same year and so it literally feels like we are we got this map for like we're destined to do this work together. We are here to support the 144,000, the angels to fully come online and into our soul's mission. And um, this is just like, I feel like this is like the inauguration. We're actually funny enough, we were actually together the last eclipse as well in Ma'orea. So we kind of been, we seeded this dragon egg and now the dragon egg is getting ready to to be born. <laughs> yeah. One thing I want to add to this incredible conversation and the wisdom that's being eloquently expressed is that often we come here and we see all the distortion and we look at how we can fix it and all the things that are missing and what we want to manifest. And as we tune into the higher timeline of what we would love to create, I wanna remind us of where we come from. From where we come from, everything that we ever wanted is part of that blueprint. So when you think about everything you, your incarnate identity or inner child wants in this life, in this world, and you go back to who you are and where you come from, that's already yours. So I'm gonna invite everyone to really consider you didn't come to this planet 
to manifest the dreams of of um, of your ego desires and get something from this world. You came to this planet with a sacred heavenly blueprint that's here to emanate from you. And in the giving and living of that, what's broadcast out comes back in this beautiful parodial field of actualizing your heaven on earth blueprint. And so it's this slight pivot into remembering you're bringing the entire blueprint of God's divine plan in and through and from you and as you and emanating that you came to this world to give it, to share it. And as we do this together in unified synarchy, joint leadership, it actualizes this, this collective birthing of that which we're here to anchor. And as we give it, embody it, be it, stream it, all of our heart's desires get fulfilled and actualized in that. And that's what we can trust as we do this together. I just wanted to share that so we can attune to the incredible gift we're bringing together onto this earth. I love that. So I'm feeling like maybe we just step into the activation because I know that, you know, it might be good for us to just start. What do you feel? Yes. Um, did you want me to share the vision? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, yes, we just felt called um, to share the vision that I had um, a little more than a year ago, I think it was in January of 2023, um, that just feels somehow connected to what we are, you know, experiencing and describing here. So it was um, a vision, I think it was during a, an alignment to the Aurora, the Polarian um, constellation, and I was really deeply connecting with those Aurora guardians, and as I woke up um, one night to breastfeed our daughter, I had this vision and it, it just felt like a vision that was almost like a, in a blink of an eye, like an inner, an inner vision that um, gave me just like almost like a glimpse of the divine master plan that totally blew my mind. And it just felt like, felt like a sacred remembering or like an eternal knowing almost like remembering it from from different you know timelines or time space past present and future and i'm not of course claiming that this vision will play out exactly in this way i saw it i feel like it can really be like symbolic you know for what is happening um so the vision was that i saw basically the 12 angelic tribes for the 144,000 like come together basically being represented by you know like these 12 pillars or like divine union couples or, or you know grail king grail queen but it, it was not in an exclusive way it was really representing just the whole 144,000 angelic um of original creation and what was incredible was that like each of these tribes had like was emanating like the most powerful purified crystalline sound field. It's almost just like their being that has already gone through just so much purification of their original soul song was able to just come together as if like all the exact puzzle pieces that make up the angelic symphony of God's song, of God's eternal song of creation, we're able to come together and we're starting to form like this harmonic sound field of all of these tribes. And it was just so incredible. It was like a miraculous sound field of a harmonic, a harmonic sound field that it's just started to create magic. You know, it's like a specific, you know, almost like every little piece of a clockwork was present and was creating like this absolute 
perfect alignment, this architecture. And so in the vision, it was just like shown in this way that the sound field started growing so strong, so magnetic and so pure that at some point it actually just burst into visible aurora plasma. And, you know, we're able to just like witness that something extremely powerful and magical is happening to our united field or just like the united force field of love that we are generating all of us together. And in that moment, it's like, you know, the, the sound field is kind of almost like pieced together the mother's body, like the, the mother's dragon body of, you know, this sound field of Aurora plasma in this perfect way. And it, what happened is like, it opened up like a sacred gateway that, I mean, it almost seemed like it was like piercing through like the planetary frequency nets that were put around the planet. And it was literally just, you know, kind of creating like this divine feminine magnetic harmonic sound field that was drawing in from, from the sun, from the Holy Father, from the divine masculine. It was just like drawing in this powerful pillar of, you know, solar, basically solar light. And I mean, this was also just our own soul frequency that was starting to descend into this aurora plasma. It was like God that was able to match us to this sound field. And so in that moment, what happened, it, it actually just felt like this was the huge or the grand solar flash that like came down. And it was just so incredible because in that moment, I realized that we're not waiting on this moment of the grand solar flash on a specific day. It's really like we are the ones co-creating it with God and you know that it's also our open hearts, our open wombs that are the ones that are you know need to be basically draw it in um, to our desire to you know to receive God here in our hearts and our bodies as a bridge of heaven on earth and onto the we're really anchoring it onto the earth. And yes, in that moment it really felt like an inner rapture moment, like an internal one, like an incension where we were just you know, holding this zero point frequency so strong. We went so deep into the zero point, into such deep eternal union with God that when we opened our eyes, it was, you know, we really opened like a, a rainbow gateway, like home, like a huge gateway home, a rainbow bridge home. And, you know, it really allowed us to anchor our diamond sun body, our avatar self into our physical vessel. And of course, I don't know, like in which timing this will play out if this will really happen in such a you know miraculous moment or if this will just you know it's just it's like a vision that's like symbolic for what is playing out over a certain amount of time but it just feels like powerful to just like share this with all of us to remember like how close we are to you know just this miracle that we're all co-creating together and that it's not you know outside of us it's something that's happening you know, just by itself, that we are really the ones able to co-create that with us and to really understand, like, the power that we have been given as souls, as angelics, that when we choose to unite with God, then nothing in the entire creation can stand between that and, you know, absolutely pure miracles start to be co-created through that open open heart and open mind to God. That is such a powerful and beautiful vision, Saskia. Thank you so much for sharing it. I feel like it's so reflective of the work that, you know, really is just beginning for our soul group. I feel like, you know, sometimes we think like, oh, when is the world going to change or when is the big event going to happen? And I really do feel like if this year really just transforms your own life, you know, don't underestimate like what kind of miracle and power and co-creation can come through your own body. And that's really, it adds up when we are all focused on that work inside of our own life and we're focused on activating and just, you know, again, becoming absolutely possessed by our desire to be of service and to unify and to really care about heaven on earth. Like it's something that's really coming through our body. You know, that's when the things 
really start to happen. And if it, the one good thing is that you really start believing in yourself, then that's like a massive W. Like if you wake up tomorrow and you feel a pep in your step and you feel God, you know, whispering in your ear and it's beginning to really believe in these big visions, right? One thing is like these Aurora hubs. I know that Lucas, Saskia, and um, my family, we're both receiving it. And so many of you have never heard a, the same similar vision from people than just wanting to have a healing center, right? Like every single person on earth that's awakening wants to have a healing center. And it's because this is the place where we come into co-creationship with the earth, where we become a guardian of the earth and with our coding and our consciousness and the ascension knowledge that we have in our light body, we're actually able to facilitate, you know, light body upgrades and evolution, rehabilitation on the earth, with the earth. And this is how it's happening, you know, through the co-creation ship on, on that level as well. And so it's so exciting. <laughs> um, it's so incredible. And so, yeah, this is... Um, I think just such a powerful segue that like we are really on the same team. We are working together on such a deep and profound level. And this is just the beginning. Feels like such a deep honor, you know, to be. I, mean, I really feel like there was a moment where we like voted in the cosmos or like, all right, who's going to get the job done? You know, that's really what it's about. Like, I feel like, you know, there's no part of me that wants or doesn't want to be an oracle or to be important or whatever is like I just I just want what we all want. I just want this mission to succeed and that's really in the heart of every single one of us. And when we can step into that frequency of union as a team that's really when, you know, these solar flares happen. So I think we're we're just about set up for that experience together here. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, so just take a deep breath. For those of you that are new here or have never tuned into any of our work, we like to create a sound field. Um, the sounds were gifted from source. They carry just these frequencies of original creation. They help us remember, you know, innocence and purity. And they carry these geometries of remembrance and what it's really doing is just bringing us into a coherent field so that we can all share our own soul's gifts and codes because that's what we're all here to do. We're all here as a family, as a oneness to facilitate the work of our one ancestor. And this is really the time when all the tribes, that's the most beautiful part because you know that sometimes people are like, oh, the chosen ones are this race or the chosen ones are that race. And you know, how, how are we going to remember that we are one if we're still in that reality where one is more special or one is more important than any other one, right? So this is an incredible time where we can all bring our uniqueness and our gifts and that which was bestowed upon each and every one of us and only us because we are unique. God created us to hold the gifts that only we can hold and we're here to do that together as a family. So I'm gonna create a sound field and then we're gonna flow from there. <laughs> Thank you. 
playfulness, the innocence, the joy, the celebration that we are here, we landed with our arms and our legs and all of our hair. <laughs> we are here, feet on the ground, and how much of a celebration that truly is. your body to literally become a pillar of this infinite golden liquid light get the white silver starlight the pastel rainbows of the aurora and let's just really come into this space together true love, pure reverence in our heart for ourselves, for each other, for all of life on earth and in the cosmos. This love that is at the heart of our soul that drives and motivates our every desire and our every action. And let's just breathe here for a moment as this holy fire of God's love just purifies our space, brings us into coherence and groundedness together as a family, feeling the strength as if we're linking hands and arms, standing together, no one above or below, all standing as one family, held in the eternal embrace of our Mother, Father, God. And let's just breathe here for a moment.
almost feeling as if there is a red carpet that is just rolling down from heaven. This red golden carpet unfurling from heaven down into the sun, through the moon, through the earth, through our hearts in every direction and every atom. This golden carpet unfurls from heaven to receive. Allow the love of Mother, Father, God to fully descend and come through in our group field. Just feel the magnificence and the sanctity and the profoundness of what we are here to experience together. Feel yourself fully here, fully now, with all that you are. Visualize this incredible temple of light around the room you're in, the imagery. Pillar of light anchoring down, stabilizing your personal space. And as you visualize and invite your higher self to ground down. Give permission. You give permission for God, the Father, Holy God, guardians, and higher self. See Saskia and myself, Lukaja, to support you and work on you on all levels for your highest effect. If so, you say yes. As you open your heart, are you willing to release everything you're here to release today to receive and embody everything you're here to receive and embody today? If so, I invite you to see. I invite you to open your heart, visualize your heart blossoming with this flower petal by petal. As you rest into the sanctuary of your inner heart, center of the center of your heart where your soul and god's source meet we invoke the divine holy mother art and the father art to start by making a choice today a choice to allow a timeline correction so that we can open up to the highest Remote probability future timeline problem. So as we invite in a oversoul review of our lifetimes of experience, we can allow a gentle accessing of our Akashic records. We can allow a integration of all lessons and wisdom that we learn not only in this life every incarnation on earth, every incarnation in this house. Allow your higher self to gently begin to sort through all of your experiences and pinpoint the causal moments that are still desiring review, completion, integration. Your higher self knows exactly what to do and how to do it. And let's scan through all the way back to when we first entered into this galactic plane as divine angelic beings, pairing a multiversal codex of harmony, a blueprint for heaven, not only for this earth, for this galaxy, this universe, and the great grand reunification our multiversal divine can. Realizing you carry this unification codex, this heavenly blueprint. 
and we bring that back to the first choice point that we as souls ever made to stray from this highest timeline, highest divine world. And every moment we made out of alignment with our higher self, due to our own naivety, naivete, or due to a trick or a attack, we want to bring forgiveness now to these moments. Great, compassionate, merciful tolerance and love to every aspect of ourselves that ever fell off center, that ever forgot, ever was tricked, that ever hurt himself or other. Part of the learning curve here that we all there is nothing simply acknowledge that in you can begin to allow yourself to forgive yourself and forgive all others for their forgetfulness. Make a choice point to allow a timeline correction. Of all choice points, have been out of alignment with the divine will to be recoded with your original choice to serve through divine will and anchor the highest people through your being, through every aspect of you, wherever you are in all time, space, and energy. So I invite you now to attune to that sacred choice. It's already who you are, but you get to choose it with all of your love and all of your strength and all of your might. Let your choice to serve the divine will and to bring a timeline correction throughout all timelines to align you, your highest timeline, in liberation, freedom, and glory to be made. I choose line with divine will. Okay. I choose to anchor this love in every choice I have made to bring alignment and correction to the timeline. Okay, so can you bring the mic bring right, the up, to right up, your your up to your mouth? Thank you. I choose to give myself. I choose to forgive all life. choose to pierce through everything in the way of me being all that I am in my fully liberated and empowered state. I choose to be here fully. So let this choice be made from the ancient through the now, paving the path for our highest time. This choice is made, and our higher selves bring this choice back prior to the falls of consciousness so that this choice can be echoed and together we correct and align. And so we correct the timelines and the sound so that we can be heard so that we can be fully heard here so let us attune now to every moment in time in which and let us choose now <laughs> <laughs> to correct 
so we can be heard, so we can be seen, so we can be felt. <laughs> and so our choice is made. We're here. We are here. Choose to be here fully. And we allow that choice to ripple through the field because who we are is the solution. Who we are contains the magnificent emanation that corrects and aligns everything into the emergent divine orchestration and actualization of heaven on earth. Who you are is brilliance manifest as a divine emanation here on this earth to broadcast the sacred frequency that will align everything into divine creation. Who you are is profound beauty expressed in every instant of your sacred allowing and effortless beingness. Who you are is a sacred emanation of divine quintessence that only you contain. You are uniquely you. So as you choose to be you, we make this choice together as a collective. And this choice is harmonizing the fields and correcting every choice into this sacred choice of beingness, of beingness. And so we've arrived from the sacred past and the future converging in this now moment, preparing to choose together and create our highest timeline now. So in this moment, we want to just call upon the white diamond Elohai Sun of the Holy Divine Mother Ark to stream to our Earth Star Chakra about 12 inches below our feet, feeling the holy energy, the primordial energy of the Divine Mother Consciousness streaming through the crystalline core of the Earth, feeling her unconditional love, her care, her magic, her creation power, her innocence and purity that has created our soul essence and helps us remember our own purity, magic and creation power stream through our feet, our legs and also come directly also through the womb portal to the very core of the womb and just flooding our entire body, our entire vessel, streaming, saturating our heart, an entire light body. And simultaneously from above, the Holy Divine Father Ark, feeling this primordial, just golden, ruby, magenta rays descending, holding the absolute primordial awareness of truth that is able to see us in our truth that is able to see and pierce through all overlays, all overlays and deceptions, all stories that we have accumulated about who we are that are not really true, that have been created through trauma. We just allow ourselves to be seen and perceived through the eyes, through the heart of God, to help us remember our absolute sacredness, our purity that can coexist even with, you know, moments where we made mistakes, moments where we are just a holy child exploring our way home. It's just feeling this beautiful also whale frequency of the Holy Father come through also the alignment, the Cetus constellation that is helping us really anchor this absolute primordial whale essence of the Holy Father that can gaze right into our soul and see us at the very core of who we are, dissolving any lies, any false beliefs that have been enslaving us, blocking us from remembering who we truly are and from receiving God's love into every aspect of our being. It's feeling those dis white rainbow sound field of the Holy Mother and this warm sun tones 
of the Holy Father flooding our being and starting to converge in our heart, this beautiful cosmic divine union between Holy Mother, Holy Father, feeling the sacred divine architecture being generated, this beautiful trinity between our masculine, our feminine, and God on the throne of our heart, like one triangle facing upwards and the other triangle that is being generated facing downwards, symbolizing Holy Mother, Holy Father, and the Holy Child that is our soul, feeling the sacred triangles merging, creating a sacred Merkaba star architecture, emanating the unified full spectrum of the divine masculine, feminine and holy child in eternal union, some Laura tri-wave tones that is emanating force from the eternal God world, feeling these beautiful golden frequencies unified with the beautiful emerald, aqua, white rainbow tones of the mother, as well as with the ruby, magenta, violet tones of the father, just creating this sacred, beautiful, just rose template that's blossoming open our hearts, our wombs, as well as our crowns to be so receptive and open to feeling this eternal bond between our soul and God. So taking a moment to breathe into the high heart, feeling your devotion, feeling your soul fire that can feel this eternal desire to return home to heaven on earth, into your, in your body, and to ripple it out all around you through your own unique soul essence, your own unique gifts, feeling that strong desire open your heart, feeling that deep surrender and trust that your deepest soul desires are one and the same with the divine will, allowing you to just surrender and trust God even more, we're asking for the guardians, the dragon lineages, to help with this repair of the sacred bond between your soul and God to at all timelines. And just allow yourself to pass to this devotional gateway, deepen surrender and trust, allowing you to sink in deeper and deeper into the very presence of your heart, Descending, just feeling this beautiful magnetic pull into the depths of your heart, to the very still point, the innermost chamber, where your heart and the heart of God converge, feeling this divine presence of God, feeling everything that you're feeling with you in this very moment, feeling how deeply you are held, by Mother, Father, God, allowing your heart to simply feel everything that's alive, if there are any fears or anxieties, like all emotions are welcome and are just being held by God and just feeling this deep reassurance that everything is in perfect divine order, that you are safe, that you have been opening your heart and been doing so much work over lifetimes to be here in this moment now. That it is safe to let go of old fear narratives and it is safe to just feel the part of you that feels this deep inner gnosis, this trust that we are here to co-create heaven on earth in this moment now simply by feeling our deepest soul desires together with God. We're also now creating this beautiful connection between the heart 
and the womb portal, which is the, the sacral, allowing us to connect now with the womb and specifically also the dark matter creation template held in the womb. So we're allowing this beautiful inner divine union template that we've been connecting so deeply in our heart to just descend down now into the womb space, into the sacral. And in that, we can really feel also the divine hierogamic power of Holy Mother and Holy Father combined support us to dissolve any last frequency fences, of fear, of unworthiness, of, you know, just any leftover resentments that need to be alchemized into a passion to create what we truly desire and to be alchemized into us remembering that we do have the power to protect what is sacred when we fully open again to God, our hearts and our wounds and remember who we truly are. So we're just allowing ourselves to feel both the living light of the Holy Father of the Divine Masculine, gently pierce through and dissolve any frequency fences around the womb, around this powerful creation template that we all hold, the dark matter template that we're also seeing externally made manifest through this total solar eclipse that is the most powerful void of creation, the most powerful ring that can birth our deepest soul desires together with God. We're just dissolving anything that can keep us from really feeling them in the deepest depths of our heart and soul, any numbing shields, any fears, any unworthiness, just allow yourself to feel how this living light of God is just dissolving anything that can be now illuminated as a lie of the Antichrist forces that was just inserted in moments of trauma and simultaneously feeling the primordial sound field, the very song that burst forth from the Holy Mother's void her heart and womb of eternal creation that is singing this song of remembrance, of your purity, of your innocence. It's just starting to emanate force from the very core of your womb, of your sacral. And it's through the sound starting to recalibrate your whole womb back to the original templates, this beautiful Merkaba star, original Sunstar network, architecture, this holy trinity, of mother, father, God, the holy child in eternal union, feeling this sound field that is just emanating forth the eternal truths of who you are and it's just allowing all dissonant you know, sound that is held um, through trauma to be collapsed out. It's like this song is the eternal song that can override all other sound frequencies that are singing a song that's not true, a song of unworthiness, struggle of lack, of enslavement. We're just allowing the song of the Holy Mother to start to dissolve any of these fears of these leftover imprints that are ready to dissolve now and also numbing shields simply for you to be able to really connect so deeply viscerally in your heart womb to feel the most beautiful and powerful frequency of your deepest soul desires Just feeling these Leftover frequency fences starting to melt away to this combined hieroscamos power of Holy Mother, Holy Father. They cannot withstand this unified divine masculine and divine feminine power of sound, living sound and living light. 
just allowing yourself to feel and connect deeper with the true soul essence the sacred aurora pearl sound field of your original soul essence where you are already fully unified with your deepest soul desires and you feel just this absolute eternal worthiness this purity this innocence and so much gratitude celebration and joy as you're remembering how it feels like to connect with your true self the pre-fall consciousness of your soul the way you were created from the heart of holy mother holy father where you were fully unified with everything that you could ever truly desire on a soul level fully embodied in your mission in your soul's legacy of just expressing the beauty of your soul the joy of your soul in its unique way in abundance unified in your eternal inner divine union with god and also with your eternal beloved fully embodied in your beautiful soul gifts in its frequency of unity celebration peace and joy and just allow yourself to feel how this is generating such a powerful sound field powerful crystalline frequency that is your very own soul essence feeling this dark matter template in you of just your own primordial creation power to be felt as just this absolute deep yearning and this you know this powerful force of eros of creation is exciting beautiful feeling of allowing the the force the creational force of God to flow through the core of your heart womb and feel this almost as like a ring of fire sensation of you choosing to burst this highest timeline into existence together with God's reassurance that this is divine will. Feeling how this inner void in your dark matter template is so trusting. It feels so worthy of this timeline that it is safe to let all fears, doubts go and to simply lean even deeper into the beauty of the desire. Feeling how these desires have been seated within you by God and just feeling how this divine master plan is being able to come into full creation through your unique peace that you're holding allowing yourself to really feel the whole just details of what you're desiring to be felt viscerally in your womb to see a vision of yourself in this heaven on earth timeline as we enter into this synarchy together this joint leadership, this co-creative power. We want to become aware of any last collective belief systems that we need to be in a battle or that there's a, a dark side has more power 
or any other beliefs that limit our co-creation power. We want to lift those and offer those up to the true source creator perspective. We want to now anchor in the pillar of eternal victory. We come from the spirit and realm of love and truth. That is where we have our center. This is where we dwell in the eternal abode that can never be tainted by any duality or evil. The eternal victory of love is who we are. And so wherever we emanate to in every realm, we can anchor that in. And so let's anchor that in together as a collective from the place and spirit from which we come and eternally dwell. The pillar of eternal victory that does not need to battle because it already sees the start and the end of evil. It already sees that those who have chosen to disconnect from source either spiral down and get recycled back home or choose the corrective path of alignment and ascension. We already see the end and the collapse of all false power just from our seeing of that and holding of the template, the work of victory is already done. Therefore, we can put down the ages of battle. We can offer it up and embody the victory of our spirit. We can override time and space and allow the phantom timelines to dissolve through the pillarship of our beings. And as we do that together, this beautiful pillar of eternal victory grounds around the planet, grounds through the earth, and we begin to experience together the vision of Aurora Earth, the vision of beautiful, incredible, harmonious, abundant, sustainable, thriving eco-villages and societies and civilizations, new systems in place, new governance models, new economic models, a new culture that puts love and joy and compassion at the forefront, the emergence of science and spirituality and alignment, the collapse of old archaic ways, collective awakening we have gone through the grand portal as a species to truly honor that we all have a soul and that we are one and connected we have gone through the humanity humanity's initiation into becoming a cosmic citizen citizen connected to all of those christ beings around the multiverse we have anchored in peace abundance joy we have helped heal the ecosystem. We're thriving together. We're living our full purpose. We are joyful and divine union. The family blueprints are restored. The tribal divine councils are restored. Synarchy, joint leadership is anchored. Wisdom prevails as a foundation our cultural brilliance. We have entered into creatorship with divine will and with each other. Feel that. Be that. Choose that. As we create this timeline together, we let it anchor through our beings and through every cell of our body into this planet, into the collective mind and heart of humanity. And we see it, and we hold on to this precious, pearlescent vision, because it is not just a vision, it's our reality. It's from where we come, and it's what we choose to live from. is who we are.
And so it is, and so it is done. flare right it's like we're just gonna hijack this rocket <laughs> and it's gonna shoot up into the sky and as the fire erupts upwards into the sky into this magnificent eclipse it's almost like we're sending out a flare of victory of awakening a message to every single one of the 144,000. Of course, we're just talking about the people of God, the meek, the pure-hearted, the angelic souls who love God and love humanity so much. And we're allowing this rocket to erupt into the sky, erupting this code this declaration of our time, this declaration of the highest timeline, this victory, this truth that we are here, we have awakened, we have arrived. We're going to allow this excitement and celebration in our heart field to explode and expand covering every part of this earth with this light of heaven allowing this peace to override any and all distortion separation any and all fallen intentions with such ease and grace with such joy and peace. Allowing our awareness to bring us to any space in our own and the collective field where there is still any chaos or instability. And simply allowing the presence of our own heart to soothe those spaces and land in this truest inner knowing that God is here, that we are here, we are here together. And what a wondrous joy that is. So we're sending out this beacon, this sonar throughout the earth and this frequency is the song of victory the song of homecoming the song of awakening to our brothers and sisters who unite in the love of god as a prayer for the awakening protection strengthening of every single heart that remembers the light and love of heaven. May each angel awaken to the prophecy of their soul. May each angel remember the power that is latent in their heart and their DNA. And may each angel rise into their highest 
power, their highest timeline in union with our Mother Father God as one family under the sun. We're going to allow these codes and frequencies to be brought into the atmosphere through the rockets. Now this is what we are shooting into the sky. This is what we are creating as a humanity. This is the intention that we hold. And just breathe and emanate those prayers, the songs for your brothers and sisters and for the ultimate fulfillment, the prophecy of heaven on earth. just want to share that when we share in good work together, when our light body opens to anchor collective energies, kind of the ebbs and flows of peace and anxiety and peace and disruption, it's a natural part of the process. because ultimately we are bringing through and resolving energies on a collective level. So our body becomes attuned to the different frequencies and layers and levels of energies that are unfolding. And so it's a great metaphor because our, our whole life really is a grid work ceremony. Our whole life, we're here to be an anchor for peace, no matter what is unfolding. And, you know, we are here holding space for the highest timeline. But, you know, it's no news that there are places in this world that are still experiencing turmoil. So we are not going to have heaven on earth until all souls and all parts of the earth are restored and returned. And that's the prayer that we're holding through our whole life. It's this prayer that led to your birth and your arrival here on this earth. And so every day of our life, things will try to take us out of this peace. And it's our job to 
devote ourselves and anchor ourselves. This is an initiation into your life as a prince and princess of peace. And the profoundness of what that truly means to live in union with God in every moment, to be a beacon and a vessel for God's love as our soul's greatest prayer for our own life, for us to fully stepping into that prophecy, our promise to God when we incarnated on this planet. So to have peace on earth, we find peace inside of ourself and anchor it in the greatest and highest qualities and quantities possible. And that peace is the peace of the eternal, the eternal divine union of our mother, father, God, that blooms into this cosmic divine love that is so full of wisdom, so full of power, so full of creativity, so full of peace. In every moment, are we more committed to peace than to the chatter? then to the judgments, then to the things that want to take us out of our union. So in this moment, know that heaven on earth is co-creating through our every moment Every moment that we bring ourselves back into the truth of the eternal peace of heaven and bring it into the now. Bringing that eternal peace that is flowering through your own soul's pillar into the earth. Like water, it flows into the places that it's needed the most. creation portal is open I invite you to seed your prayers for humanity for your lineage for all of life on earth and everywhere you're welcome to write in the chat or just speak it or just send it into the field as this portal is open and we are in the max eclipse window for the eastern side pray for your life pray for yourself pray for your awakening and your activation because you are the answer to the prayers for heaven
okay so there's one more rocket that is getting ready to be launched i'm not sure when it is launching but it doesn't matter because we're quantum so i invite you to literally seed your prayers into the rocket just for fun you know it's just for fun because we're already <laughs> praying into the source field so we don't need a dinky rocket but you know it's just gonna be fun so we're gonna seed our prayers into this third nasa rocket it's gonna carry our prayers into the sky for fun <laughs> So as we're doing that, I'm gonna just read some of your prayers here as we're just seeding this frequency into the rockets or into the trees or into whatever else you feel like it. You can do this with me if it feels fun for you. So praying that all the 5G towers are deactivated and for health and help for all of creation for love, peace, and abundance for all beings on Mother Earth. Just seeing these prayers are these light codes that are just being drawn on and around this third NASA rocket. Praying for peace and end of suffering in Palestine and Israel. Praying for human consciousness to be deliberated from separation and back to God's love. Praying for God's love to flower and be remembered in every single human heart. Praying for the healing of Tony and Brooke's lineage, for unconditional love and peace. Praying for the highest awakening and the activation of every kind, loving, God remembering human on earth, praying to end the suffering and exploitation in Congo and all of Africa, praying for the liberation of all animals, praying for the arrival of Aurora Earth. Praying for every dragon angelic to experience the fullness of your power blooming with aliveness in your body. Praying for every child of the earth to be free and to have the freedom to play joyfully in this heavenly world. wrapping this rocket in so much light and so much love as it is preparing to shoot into the eclipse maximum which is praying for all loosing devices to be deactivated and all dark portals and intentions to be cleared with the brush of an angelic wing it is done with so much ease for the end of human trafficking and human slavery on all levels and all dimensions really just praying for humans to remember and embody our most beautiful and original divinity for all of humanity to rise and remember our original blueprint thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you
so the final piece of the grid work that we're going to facilitate here we're going to tune in to the womb waters dark matter the plasma that connects all things our mother's womb that holds all in matter matter mater mother sacredness in flesh in physicality the sanctity of all that is in physical creation belongs to the love of our mother father god so as we're tuning into this infinite sea of plasma starlight we're going to just fortify this field enveloping the CERN technologies and any other like technologies for the wholeness of the mother's womb to be held in the highest protection for the multi-dimensional light body of the earth to be held in absolute wholeness and protection you know the more that we can anchor into our unity field here and really feel love for our togetherness really feel appreciation for our family when we come together into union we're holding a field of union for the earth we're helping all of the layers and levels of this reality and all of the human beings to remember the power that we have when we unite So feeling the presence of our eternal mother's womb water and light receiving this transmission from our whale family the peace sparkling life of this water we're just fortifying this field with love because that's the secret ingredient in understanding anything in the honor of being a scientist to get to explore and understand the magnificence of creation enveloping our human society with this remembrance of the importance of reverence in, in science requesting for our grid support dragons to continue the seeding of these prayers continue the landing of these prayers until they are fully embedded activated in this beautiful rocket <laughs> sending gratitude to every single being that is here holding love and peace inside of your own body also sending gratitude to the 
naughty ones that are really just making us focus even more. <laughs> prayers as this beautiful light language that is circling and enveloping the earth and this is really a prayer for each and every one of you for you to remember your power and your prophecy for you to Allow your fears and resistance to your destiny through humility. Or for you to um, yeah, really step into your role and your responsibility of being a keeper of peace. And so for those of you who have been deleting your comments is really just because, you know, this is a sacred space and we are praying together. And there's a, there is a proper way of being. You know, when we claim to be a master and we claim to be this and that, it's really our behavior that map who we really are so have we learned how to be in a state of reverence and respect you know a peaceful process that is occurring and to share our prayers instead of propagating chaos And so, you know, I'm really clearing these comments, not just for myself, but for our collective experience as well. And it's not personal, okay? <laughs> You're still loved and appreciated. Exactly as you are. This is a sacred space. just gonna tune in and see if there is anything else is there anything else in closing that you guys want to bring through um yes i just was feeling um, a final piece to actualize these beautiful prayers we've been feeling so deeply in our heart in our soul and also feeling how this supports this generation of this sound field from the womb portal this aqua l sound field holding all of these beautiful visions of the eternal reality that we are bursting in this moment together with god just really feeling how even in the solar eclipse like the dark matter template is always surrounded by the divine masculine sun living light it is backed and held by the sun the living light of god and you can just feel how this beautiful crystalline sound field that is being generated is so open so magnetic to be fully you know just burst to life into physical reality we're opening our heart our body our womb, our whole vessel so wide to really anchor like our our desires, our prayers are the sound field that are, you know, the pre-matter and we are becoming like the full perfect match for, you know, our own higher self, our God self to descend down to the to the sun and to anchor into our vessel to become that that we are desiring and remembering that we truly are in this moment 
and we also want to just feel also this cosmic divine union marriage between the holy mother's sound field of love and purity and this holy desire of heaven on earth to now be seated and fulfilled through the cosmic divine masculine diamond rod pillar i can feel it happening simultaneously within us as our womb and heart are starting to just like overflow and almost just like bursting we can't even contain this high frequency of heaven on earth it's starting to overflow out of our heart almost creating these like solar flares from within us this like heart explosions of love of celebration of eternal victory it has the power to override anything else that is not in alignment to it which is also feeling from within our own heart and simultaneously from the great central sun of the holy father the pink diamond elohai sun this like diamond rod pillar descending into the crystalline sound field generated within your pillar within your heart womb saying yes like the divine will the divine masculine living light saying yes to all of these prayers and soul desires that it's one and the same as divine will just feeling you really receiving it and merging your dark matter creation template of your inner feminine with the cosmic divine masculine truth power of eternal victory just feeling the two converge in this holy sacred marriage within you feeling this beautiful convergence like burst into particles of physical matter within your being activating this angelic template within you fully and just bursting all of these prayers these beautiful soul desires of heaven on earth into physical particles crystalline particles in your cells in your dna actualizing it allowing these crystalline particles to flood your whole blood stream your holy waters in your sacred vessel and just feel it actualized in your entire being and this process is an ongoing process it just continues naturally within you every moment that your heart is so open Feel your heart, your being, your soul, every aspect of you. Claim your readiness to receive all that is here for you, to give all that you're meant to give, to fulfill your sacred dharma, to live your highest legacy, to prosper, to thrive and to embody fully. We ground, we anchor, and we seal into our fields and onto the earth everything that we've co-created today for the highest and best of all beings through divine will. Creating your sacred soul essence into your body. Just feel it descend into all parts of your being activating your diamond sunlight body and just feeling this beautiful braiding process of your higher self take place as it just keeps anchoring deeper and deeper 
into your being, anchoring this sacred remembrance of this embodiment of heaven and earth actualized through you. Allow yourself to just feel the gratitude, the joy, the celebration, and just giving so much thanks to all of you here, to your beautiful devotion, to be a pillar of heaven on earth. We just give so much thanks to God, to the dragon guardians, Holy Mother, Holy Father, to all of our higher selves and our human selves that are together co-creating this beautiful miracle, heaven on earth timeline, that is just continuing to keep braiding and integrating deeper and deeper into our being onto this earth. ground down with a smile on our hearts and our spirits we say it is done it is done it is done and so it is we of humanity have chosen the representatives of the 144, the 12 sacred original dragon tribes of all of humanity united as one. We have chosen the timeline of heaven on earth. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. How are you guys feeling? I'm loving seeing all of your comments and chats coming in. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for the last couple of hours here. you guys i really want you guys to remember that this is literally just the beginning and every time we have a grid work ceremony we just want to remember that the real ceremony is our life and every breath that you take is a prayer for heaven on earth because that's what god created you to be and that is something so profound it's such a profound honor to get to support you and to get to um love you and to get to help you remember how epic you are truly it's the greatest pleasure and honor that we possibly could have and um
So yeah, we're just gonna sit here for a little bit and just allow the field to land because I know that a lot of you might still be feeling a lot. Um, I actually had another tab open. One of them was the eclipse from NASA and the other tab was the rockets. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of just for fun, you know? Um, it was really fun to use borrow their rocket, you know? <laughs> um, so thank you all so much for that powerful prayer. Um, this is the work that we facilitate on an ongoing level. Um, I, you know, I know that most of you are so beautiful and most of you aren't even in the chat. Like there's 900 or like a, a thousand people here. So most of you were not in the chat. Um, but you know, I, at this point in my work, I'm just, I, I don't have any patience for a lot of these comments. Like I will just delete them because this is, you know, my space and it's really, I think I just, I'm sharing this because I know that a lot of us are afraid to shine our light because of what people might think or what people might say. And, you know, I just want to say that their words don't matter. Like when you are in a covenant with God and you're just doing what you're guided and you know you live your life in devotion and you have like no motives besides just being, you know, a direct vehicle for the highest timeline when you know that about yourself literally none of the words that people can say matter so i just want to give you guys that piece of freedom that i feel in my body and um yeah and for those of you lisa says we were listening and meditating so we were not chatting <laughs> there were just a couple of messages one of them that jumped out at me was just somebody was like oh like lucas is a mentor for like high level entrepreneurs like why didn't you pick a better collaborator and i thought this was a really great comment to highlight <laughs> sorry to put you on the spot lucas because i just feel like i was just thinking about this the other night like i position all of my offers really low ticket but ultimately, when it comes to changing the world, like Lucas and Saskia and I are like, you know, being guided to steward these sacred temple lands. And it's going to, by the way, all of you guys that want to build the most magnificent Aurora hub, like you think somebody's just going to come and hand you a giant wad of cash. Like you've got to work and you have to share your gifts. And like there are people out there that have a lot of money but don't have a lot of God. And so I was just talking to Shane last night where it's like, yeah, a lot of our work is free. A lot of our work is available online and we have to create different streams of income. And so I know that a lot of people on earth live in a very superficial way where they only have one thing going on. But, you know, when you um, become inoculated with God's creation, you can be a, a movie maker and you can make music and you can also have a business and you can also make youtube videos and you can also freaking knit if you want you can do it all because you are a freaking super creator you're a superhuman so again i want to just send that piece of wisdom out there for all you guys that you're not trapped in limitation and poverty when you are a creator being you don't need to wait for a handout you don't need the government to give you money you don't need to you know, play small just so that people don't judge you. Lucas and Saskia and I, you know, we operate, and I, I know many of you could feel their energy. I guess some people are vibrationally blind and can only see with their brain, which is ultimately just sad. You know, the world is so much more colorful when you can see the beauty in others see the beauty in each other and the depth you know the depth in who we can all be i would love to have an offer for millionaires and billionaires to find alignment with god because they need that and they can afford it you know what i mean like wouldn't it be amazing if all that money that they have goes into building aurora hubs so that's literally what we're trying to facilitate um 
And so it's just really important to feel and see the embodiment inside of people versus what we think they are physically doing. Um, and so on that note too, I just wanted to share that we're actually, if you thought that this was a powerful field and you really want to work with us even more, we are actually opening up a container over the galactic alignments uh, between April 19th and the 22nd. So this is when the Earth, the Sun, and Andromeda and then the super galactic sun are coming into alignment. And so this alignment is always so potent for me because it's also the astrological new year, okay? And so essentially when we have this alignment to Andromeda, Andromeda is where the aurora forces are coming in to this universal body. So we're getting this access into the high heavens intelligences. By the way, I think that these alignments are like more powerful than eclipses. Right? It's just that we don't hear about them because we don't know about them, but like the ancient peoples did. And so for me, I really follow galactic astrology because, you know, when the Earth, the Sun, and Cygnus, and the Pleiades, and Arcturus, by the way, the Arcturian alignment is next weekend, but when these cosmic energies come into alignment, we can receive just so much high dimensional consciousness through the Sun because light travels in a straight line, right? So when we have the earth, sun, and these alignments, these were the true alignments that these ancient um, stone temples were built, you know, stone circles and stuff. I was having a, a true sky astrology reading, and my astrologer was like, you built these stone circles in the past because you know how to align to cosmic time. And it's really interesting because that's what I'm still doing. I'm orienting our collective consciousness to higher organic alignments versus, you know, tropic astrology, or even the sun, we're just going into the cosmic. And so understanding that this whole year is very potent, right? The dragons are coming online. We're doing a, a webinar with Rory Duff, I think next week on my YouTube channel. He's the person that scientifically discovered the dragon lines, which are like the biggest ley line systems that has been measured on earth. And they only started coming online. So it's amazing because I was getting these downloads and here I meet this guy that's literally an expert in measuring ley lines and he's confirming all these placements. And so we became good friends and um, we both, well, him using scientific measurements because the strength and the velocity of these lines can be measured. And so he's saying that based on science, the trajectory is that these dragon lines are gonna come fully online by the end of 2024. And that's also just what I've gotten, you know, as a download, understanding that the dragon lines are a physical thing on the earth, but there's they are also you, right? This is like how we're, one thing on the earth is that every single one of you is a dragon line. <laughs> Cause a dragon line is a conduit for the original intelligence of God. And so we are each an anchor. That's why it's the 144,000, right? The 144,000 meridians of God being here on, on earth together. And so essentially this whole year is us gearing into that. And when you allow these energies that are happening on the earth and the cosmos to support your process, that's momentum, right? It's aligning to cosmic will. So if the dragons and the earth are awakening and you are awakening and you align to cosmic time, then you will experience, you know, the most massive dragon activations. I'm experiencing that. I'm feeling this dragon fire. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can feel it, but this is, you know, this is what's happening for every single one of us. And the more that you put your awareness to it and make it an intentional thing, like for me, I, I made this galactic astrology calendar because that's how I have been living the past 10 years. And, you know, when, when these alignments come, I create space for that energy to come in and I get activated. But you have to create space, you know, it doesn't just happen to you. So, as, you know, the alignment's happening and you're at the grocery store, right? Your mind's going to be somewhere else. And so we're facilitating this four-day activation focused on divine union, but it's not really only about our external union. It's the frequency of the beloved consciousness that awakens inside of our heart is this beloved intelligence that awakens inside of our body, this remembrance of Mother, Father, God that blooms in our aura. And this is what in initiates us into a Christed being. 
this frequency of the Christ consciousness fully flowers and awakens in our light body when we have healed our God wound and come into divine union inside of our body. And that's what leads to divine union outside of ourself. That's how it happened for me. I don't know if it, you know, we can have another call because, you know, I think I really want to share our union stories because I think that'd be really fun. But for me, how this union came in was that I didn't even want a union. I didn't want it. I used to think that I had a twin and whatnot. And then I was like, screw it. You know, that's just entirely a new age, whatever. And then I focus entirely on my mission, on my love for God. And then I had these experiences where I felt like I was in union with God, where I felt God's love flowing through our heart. Um, and it was then where I just felt like I was so in union with creation that I didn't need anything. I didn't need anyone. I didn't need anything. That that force was just going to flow through my body and orchestrate every single thing in my life. You know, and I was so ready to just surrender like everything that I thought I wanted and just be one with God, be one with the highest source. And a month later, my beloved came in. I don't think that it was a coincidence. It was like us coming into union with ourself and fully saying yes to our own mission, fully saying yes to our devotion to the highest truth inside of our own body brings us into union, even though that's not even what we're after and anymore at that point. You know what I mean? Because the whole point of a divine union is to be a container for God's love and God's mission on this earth. So that's really what this four day is about. You can find the link in the description. It is a separate thing than the Earth Star Academy, but it is preparing our team for the Ireland mission. So the, the grid work um, containers that we've been guided to open this year kind of um, peak in August. So over the 888 portal, we're going to be at the Hill of Tara in Ireland, because Ireland is such a big piece. Ireland has a prophecy, right? Just like we each have a highest destiny, Ireland, the landmass, has a prophecy. And Ireland is meant to be a beacon of the Emerald Covenant, be a host for a specific consciousness. And it's Ireland's destiny to be that beacon. And so we're basically calling forth 144 people to be there with us in person on the 888 portal is a four-day conference. Lucas and Saskia will be there. And also Rory Duff will be there. And, you know, several Irish gatekeepers. And also um, our own Charlie Batten. You know, it's just going to be such a beautiful ceremony. We're going to have two days of talks and preparation. And then on the third day, we go to the Hill of Tara on the 88 to awaken the Emerald covenant and just initiate our uh, our mission here on earth so this is really important so we're actually these events are preparing us for that right this mission is really important and i learned that when i was in bali because my trip to bali was almost entirely a training for this mission in ireland like so many wrenches so many things just flying so much chaos and just being able to understand the profoundness and the bigness because each and every one of you are carrying codes in your DNA and in your aura that are holding these pieces, right? We're all these little chip of this tree and we're meant to allow these uh, energies to bloom together. So we have that those in-person event and then we have this online event and so this for, it's kind of hard to explain because <laughs> we need a lot of training, right? It's like I've spent, I've done nothing but train for the last 10 years. Like when God said you're here to help the earth, well, actually it started because I was so distraught by the state of the world that I was like, God, please tell me how I can help. You know, that's all I wanted. And then God started saying, well, if you want to help then do this and I would do it. If you want to help them go here, then I'd do it. And I would follow through with all of the guidance in a way that was kind of obsessive until, you know, I could live my life in this way. And so 
there's so much training that is coming through and this event, you know, over the April 20th gateway is one of those trainings. So we're going to spend four days together with Lucas Saskia. My beloved is going to be there. Um, he just can't be seen publicly with me, but privately he can. <laughs> um, he is incredible. And those of you that are inside of the Earth Star Academy, you know that Shane is um, carrying so much immense coding, but his role is to deeply translate it in a way that can be digestible. And so um, for that reason, he's decided that he can't be seen with me who talk about all these crazy things, right? Like aliens and conspiracy theories and all that stuff. And I understand because he's carrying such a big contract to be able to work with people that are not inside of this new age community. Um, so you can uh, find him at Shane X Blondin at <laughs> on Instagram. I can put put his links. But anyway, he's so grounded, right? His teachings are really grounded because they're about organizing our life so we can be effective, right? It's like sometimes we don't need to be just praying and talking to aliens. Sometimes it's about how can we like make our bed, have our breakfast, and then get to work. You know <laughs> what I mean? So anyway, he's gonna be sharing some of those things. I think those are codes that honestly star seeds and light workers really need um part of that is going to be that way so um let's just see here um one four four two four yeah so i'm gonna put the link um for that event just know that when you support these events they're life-changing right you are basically opening space. This is what it's about. You don't need me to do it. If you don't want to pay for it, you can just create space for yourself, right? I'm telling you there's an amazing galactic alignment happening. And one thing that I like to do is just create so much reverent space so we can receive and capitalize on these cosmic energies as much as we can because we need that now mm -hmm. on Earth. <laughs> right? We need as much help and as much activation as we possibly can get from the cosmos so that we can literally change the entire world, you know, as guided by God. So I put the link there. Um, it is the first process in this series of activations leading up to the 888 event that is literally going to initiate the Emerald Covenant coding in the earth Emerald Covenant coding is this original intention for the Earth's destiny that the 144 and the, the original angels were present for at the beginning of the creation of the Earth. So when we seeded, I know that they say like, oh, you know, and the Anunnaki's made humans to be slaves. It's like total lies because the angelics and God created humans to be avatars of God's intelligence and God's love and God's creativity. And so we were there in the beginning when we seeded these intentions and that's why we're being called to activate these codes in the earth so that we can move fully into the timeline. And then what it really looks like is even in the Bible, it talks about there are these beings through their fruits, th through their labor, through their devotion, they become imbued with the power of God, meaning they start facilitating miracles. They start you know, exhibiting superhuman abilities. Who do you think those people are going to be, <laughs> right? It's going to be you guys. And that, you know, Shane always says, luck is preparation meets opportunity. Preparation meets opportunity. Some people say, oh, Z, you're so lucky. You know, you have this thriving community. No part of that was luck. Yes, I have so much cosmic support and I've been physically preparing you know, every single day for the last decade. And so we're being called into that preparation phase. It's like, okay, these activations are coming. The dragon lines are coming online. What are we doing in our day-to-day -day life that is optimizing our body so that when the time comes and we're called into service, that we are in our strongest and most powerful self. And that is really the work that we're here to facilitate. I don't know if you guys felt that friggin' dragon fire that was coming out of Lucas, I really wish that we had fixed the mic sooner, but um, when this man starts speaking light language, you better hold on to your hat because, <laughs> I mean, we're just, 
excited to see you guys thrive, right? That's like the, the missions are so multifaceted. It is about us supporting you. Every time you support us, it goes basically right into sacred land and building Stargate <laughs> locations. That seems to be this pattern that I have where like you know, whenever I make money, it just goes right into building these hubs because that's all I care about. Um, but that's what Lucas and Saskia are raising money for as well in building these Emerald Ascension, uh, Aurora Ascension hubs. And so, you know, we're really working together. Like if you want to build a healing center, one of them just needs to land, right? It's not just a healing center, it's an Aurora hub. So we have the coding, we have the understanding, we have the light body accretion to be able to land these now. And this is, you know, going to ultimately benefit us all if one hub could be landed and the earth is ready for that um, in this location that I'm, I'm at. Okay, so um, if that is exciting, if you feel that you could use a little support on your dragon activation to prepare and if you feel called to be there in August, the links are in the description. And we're just so excited and honored that we get to spend a weekend together where we get to support and be on mission just in all ways, financially and energetically and as a family and on the earth in all dimensions, we're on mission. This is what we do together here. And so I'm so excited and honored for Lucas and Sasuke and you guys get to meet my beloved Shane. We are just weaving such beautiful prayers for all of you guys because your success is the success of the mission. And we're all here to do this together. So I'm going to shut up now and let you guys <laughs> communicate. <laughs> hmm. We're so excited to be collaborating in the spirit of supporting us to all land our leadership and our divine unions together and aligning with our missions, opening our hearts, living our divine blueprints and becoming all that we are. And so this, this work is really about helping us to embody that inner blueprint to become magnetic to all that is meant for us, our divine unions, but also to get into a state where it's more effortless to just live in the expression of who we are and give in alignment with our leadership position on this planet, where mission and union are together as one. We're living our mission in communion with God, and we're gonna unlock a lot and share and transmit all that we have to support you. We look so we, we look forward to connecting with each and every one of you that's called to be there, sharing our gifts and rising together. So it's been an honor to be with you all today. We love you so much and we look forward to seeing you soon. Yes, sending just each and every one of you so much love and gratitude for holding your powerful pillar and being here with us and co-creating this miracle portal together and I know this is just the beginning so yeah there's just so much to come and for all those who are joining us in Ireland or in the the twin soul activation we just are so excited for everything that's going to be created together all our love to you all yes love and gratitude to all of you guys and honestly, it's just a really exciting time. Like, I feel like we've been in our own dragon stasis, you know, I'll probably, you know, I don't know, you guys might feel that as well, where like, yeah, some stuff is happening. But as far as like the impact we're really meant to make on the earth, it's like we are kind of been waiting. And this year's really feeling like this emerald green light, you know, <laughs> this green light that creation has given us is okay, now it's safe, it's time, it's time for us to make it happen. And it's just such a deep honor to get to witness that. And, you know, in 10 years time, we're going to look back and just be celebrating so hard as a family. And that's really what it's about. That's just um, what we're here to do. And to, again, it's just such a deep honor to get to support um, God's angels on earth. There's no greater honor than that. Really just 
deep bows of acknowledgement and the courage and the strength and the wisdom in each and every one of you that has led you to being right here right now and um, just really honored and grateful to witness it all unfold so on that note um, I think am I frozen I'm not frozen okay um, all the links are in the description and I hope to see you guys you know in a couple of weeks uh, I love you guys so much and I will see you soon I think oh there you are you guys were frozen now you're back <laughs> so funny with these little tech glitches we've had nothing too intense nothing too crazy but definitely a couple things so I'm gonna just wait a second to see if they're um, they're gonna be back guys can you hear me Cause I can hear them Just gonna wait a minute. <laughs> I guess while we're waiting, I'll just tell you guys a little bit more about the hubs because essentially I had a property in New Mexico that is also gonna be the location of a hub. Um, I saw visions of hundreds of these, right? But they're basically not just healing centers, not just permaculture centers. They are built in alignment with the cosmos and they're built as these gateways between realms. And they're also built to connect to this higher dimensional light technology that the Aurora is connected to that will literally rehabilitate the light body of the earth. So human beings naturally should be connected to like all 12D and beyond, right? But because of the damage that has incurred on the earth, you know, a lot of the stargates have been destroyed or hijacked and distorted through rituals and wars and all sorts of stuff. Like all the horrible things you see on earth are basically grid wars. And I have quite a few videos on my YouTube channel if you're interested in understanding more about that. But essentially these Aurora hubs are a multi-dimensional source created technology that God has created and sent to earth through our bodies, through our DNA to facilitate the healing of the earth. And so the first property that found me was in New Mexico. I had this whole amazing story when I went, I was, you know, I found this, I had this vision of these hubs and then I found this property through a really weird synchronicity. And then when I went there, this man was like, oh, you know, there was an Andromedan man that bought this land that died. And he said that little Chinese girl from Andromeda was going to come and this land is meant for her. So it was literally my Andromedan Again, Andromeda is where the Auroras come in. So it was really the Aurora family that left me this property. And the property taught me so much about Aurora hubs. But due to everything that's happening in the, in the States, the different energies and things like that, um, the Americas are not ready for the totality of these hubs to be built yet. Um, okay, so the totality of the grids means that like we're opening up holographically and higher dimensional beings are going to be able to materialize. You hear these stories of Hathor, who had two lives, like she would just dematerialize and go back to Sirius and she had another, she just materialized as a Syrian being, right? All of these stories, well, that's basically when the stargates are operational, we would have that ability. So until the earth is ready for these levels of activation to happen this is why even though you want to build hubs a lot of it has not been possible it's almost like you've been blocked right so the reason for it is because you have to fully understand the mechanics of multidimensionality to properly build an aurora hub and that is what the earth star academy is here for basically i've been training for the last 10 years to hold this body of knowledge to support the building of these aurora hubs and so i was guided to then um, come to 
another country in Central America. And when I came to this property, I was told that this was a location that was ready for an actual Aurora hub to be landed. And it's one of the first ones on the planet because it has to be a place that is, you know, safe, that doesn't have a lot of distortion, that is clear, that people don't know about, right? Is all of these things have to be, um, all these check marks have to be checked off. And so really we're working on one technology. These hubs are meant to operate as one. That's one of the main teachings of the Auroras is that the Aurora is this unified field. It's like these millions of souls, but they're one, they're one field. They're like a one super being. And that's what we're remembering down here is that we are more, we are one just like that, right? We are here working together and that's why, you know, we're pooling resources, money is coming together. We're coming together to pray. And this is an entirely new way of existing. This is an entirely new way of operating, you know, a business or a mission. And these are the coding. This is a way that I embody and live my life and apply this knowledge in all areas of my life, including my mission, my home, my business, my relationships, my friendships, right? This is the consciousness that we are embodying. And so over the next decade, you will be facilitating wealth. You will be learning about multidimensionality of the earth and your own light body to learn how to build these hubs that will literally open and activate entirely new stargate systems on earth. It's a pretty cool thing <laughs> that we're doing. Um, it's just a deep honor to get to um, witness it all unfold and to get to participate in the way that we do. Um, some of this is in the intermediate level. A lot of this is in the advanced level of the Earth Star Academy because the first part is healing our Earth self, right? That's really where all the bottlenecks are. So the foundation level in the Earth Star Academy, it's like 300 modules and healing is very multifaceted, but through healing, you will learn multidimensionality. Through healing, you will remember how to awaken ley lines and meridians in your body and in the earth. And you will come into a state of embodiment so much so that you will have mastered these things to build a literal stargate building technology, um, also known as an Aurora hub, also known as a healing center, or whatever you've been envisioning and dreaming up. This is such a beautiful process and project. And it could begin here with the April 20th training. Again, all the money that you will be raised through this event are going to um, these Aurora hubs that are being established. Luna says, I think I went to an Aurora hub over the summer, but it felt distorted. So it was not an Aurora hub. <laughs> um, unless you mean that it was a location that eventually might be one. Because an Aurora hub, if you understand, the Aurora is the consciousness of the original creation. They're not from this universe. Their role is to literally be a frequency of pure eternal peace and love. Okay? And so there are no established Aurora hubs yet because the Aurora are just now coming into human embodiment. So there are no Aurora hubs that have been built just yet, have been established just yet. So the reason for that is, again, it's not just, you know, oh, we're building permaculture, it's going to be a healing center, is having a conscious awareness of the dimensions and consciously being aware of the placement of stones, of materials and the directions and the ley lines and having a physical embodied awareness and wisdom of cosmic stellar meridians and lines as well. And being able to connect those into this higher dimensional technology that is the Aurora into these physical locations that literally repair the earth. So I'm going to say, are the Vipassana centers similar to the Aurora hubs? Um, I mean, no, because it's an intention, right? A lot of Vipassana centers are very beautiful, but an Aurora hub is an ascension technology. Ascension is an ascension hub. It's a literally a living, breathing light technology. Okay, so it's its own technology because it's coming from the original creation. 
that's all, you know, it, it's like, for me, it's all or nothing. Like I, I go direct to source. I don't pray to any gods. I go, tr I pray to trees because trees are the altars. You know what I mean? So I go to the original temple, my body, trees, rivers, and the cosmos, the womb, the cosmic womb, the aurora. These are organic elemental forces. And so the aurora hubs are prophecy they are repairing the earth and bringing us back not just to a spiritual dimension not just to you know 10d they're bringing us all the way home because from that source we repair and reconnect every single layer every single particle of this reality back to the original creation and that's the mission that i'm on i'm here to reconnect everything and repair and restore every particle of this reality back into divine harmony with the original eternal source and i i think that's the role of the 144 and also the star seeds like if you are here to create heaven on earth like what is that right it's the original creation so my role is to help you remember and to help you prepare and train you don't need me you can just go direct inside right? You can meditate, you can do it like I have. I've just been meditating with the earth, but I just became obsessed with it. Like ever since I discovered I can meditate and repair my light body, I just basically don't have any other hobbies. <laughs> um, so I, I am an example of not needing anything outside of yourself to remember fully and completely. And um, I am being guided to open the space to support my brothers and sisters if that's something that you feel called to be part of. Um, again, you know, my whole life is on this mission at this point. And so whatever financial energy exchange that you share with me, you, you basically can know that it's going into me, you know, flying 30 hours to the other side of the planet while being six months pregnant with a two-year-old because I'm committed. I will do whatever it takes. I have told God, I have told the earth that I will do whatever it takes. And I think that if there's one thing that you can trust in, it's just the actions that I have taken in the last 10 years and how committed I have been to be fully devoted. You know, there's nothing in this world that has anything for me. I already have the eternal in my heart. So I'm here to do this together with every single one of you. It's going to be so fun. It's such an amazing process of co-creation that we're in. And the next 10, 20 years is just going to be immaculate. And so I'm so excited to um, be here with you guys. And I hope to see you guys uh, over the April 20th events with uh, Shane and Saskia and Lucas. It's going to be such a beautiful prayer and activation for all of us. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing you again. I love you so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.